What is going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and in today's video we're going to be giving you a full breakdown of how to craft in Outriders. Now this is a beginner's guide so even if you haven't even unlocked the crafting station, if you haven't played the game yet, I know some of you won't have played yet. This is really a simple guide to show you how much things cost, how to do it, and what you can actually do. Now, before we get into the video, if you find it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to help support the channel and get us on that road to 30,000 subscribers, consider hitting that subscribe button. And of course, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite class. Now, with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So let's start the rundown of crafting on outriders now what you're going to want to do is as you play the first part of the game you will unlock zahedi and zahedi will be in all of your camps basically you have to do is look for this symbol which looks like a screwdriver and a spanner and zahedi should be sitting here as you can see is invisible right now because i think it's a ui glitch because all of my characters are not actually here but basically go up to them and hit talk now, when you hit talk, you can have plenty of options. You can actually talk to Zahedi if you want to, or you can just put, I need to upgrade my gear. Simply click, I need to upgrade gear. This will bring you to the crafting menu. Now, there are a number of things you can do, and we're going to break it down slightly for you, especially if you are a beginner. Now, of course, this is not end game crafting. This is beginner crafting slash mid game crafting. Most importantly, you are going to want to stock up on all of the materials that you see in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, I'm not that well stocked up, but we will show you exactly how much it costs to do each thing. So let's start with weapons. For example, we have a, a rifle here, which is a blue rifle with 1426 firepower. Now, what you can do is improve the rarity of this item. So it's blue now. So if we click on improve rarity and hover above it, it will go purple. So if we do improve the rarity, you'll notice that the firepower goes up. And it also lets us choose one from three available options for that second mod. Because if it's purple, it will have two mods. So basically, it makes it an epic and it also puts up the um, firepower and also gives you that option to um, choose an available option for the mod. Now, this is going to cost you 50 titanium. Now, you get titanium from bosses or from uh, tough enemies, or if you disassemble or dis uh, disassemble uh, epic and legendary items, you'll also get titanium as well. Now, try and stack up as much as you can for the titanium. Now, on this as well, you can also raise the attributes. Now, this is where your shards that you received from dismantling all that gear in the demo would come in handy. So if, say, for example, you want more healing received, you can literally use your healing shards and it takes 66 of each one. So you can literally max it out and you can see it gone up there to 12.7. We have now run out of those shards, but you can see we've still got status power and weapon life leech. That really depends on what stats you have on your gun. So these will change per stats to the gun and then you can upgrade them to the maximum level that it will let you. Now, if you want to mod the gear, this is change the mod. So the mod on here is first things first. If, for example, we didn't like that, you can go and change it to any of the mods that you have available. Now, on this character specifically, I don't have any of the tier threes. However, if we go back out and go into our inventory, and for example, I dismantle the Rarogs' gaze, so if we just dismantle this, you can see at the bottom, I'm going to get mods. So let's dismantle it. Now we've received those mods. So when I go back in here, we should have access to a tier three mod. Well, I actually have access to two tier three mods. So let's go for that gun again. Mods. And we'll have access to the tier three mod that just come off the Rarogs' gaze. So if you want to put this on that weapon, you can do so. Again, as many epics and as many legendaries as you can, try and dismantle them to get the mods as well. This is going to help you end game. What else you can do is swap the variant. Now, it, now it's set on one shot. If we want it to a standard variant, you can see that we, we change the statistics of the weapon. 
So the clip size goes up to eight. It's 149 RPM. The damage has gone down to 247 and it's got a two second reload instead of 1.4 and the crit multiplier has gone up to 300%. Now this has kind of made it a standard rifle. So if you have a standard rifle and you want to make it a one shot, you know, so you have to reload, so basically like a bolt action, then you can also change that as well. Depending on the weapon would depend on what actually um, options you have. Some of them are different. And these cost around 111 iron. Now you get iron from just basically um, harvesting materials as you walk around. And I believe you get some from dismantling as well. Yeah, disassembling weapons. And then, of course, you can level the item up. So it's level 22 now. It will tell you, depending on your level in the game, you will have a level cap that you can use those weapons. So for me, it's 23 is the cap, which is one level up. When you level up the weapon, it will level up each attribute, and it will level up the firepower to go along with the, with the level. And it will also obviously put up the damage because it's affecting all of the different statistics. So say, for example, we're going to level this up and I'll do it for you guys. So you just click it. It's now level 23, 1,700 firepower. And these stats have also gone up as well as the damage. So it's really, you know, if you find a gun that you like, improve the rarity, raise the attributes, you know, level it up and keep it the whole way through. Now, for example, if we have a legendary, say for the Voodoo Matchmaker, which I didn't even realize I'd dropped until now watching this video, so GG's EK for dropping this, didn't even know I got it. But anyway, you can literally only do three of the crafting options. You can't improve its rarity because it is the rarest you can get. It's a legendary. You can't swap variants on them. There is no other variants of these weapons. What you can do is raise the attributes. So for example, close range damage. If we want to add that up, you can see this number here, 5.63, and it goes up to 5.84, and it costs 63. Depending what weapon, what piece of gear, depends on the price, but this will give you a rough estimate. Weapon life leech, again, if you want to upgrade it, you can upgrade it as well. Mod gear. Now on this one, you can literally mod any of these two mods. So as you hover above one, so say I wanted this mod, you'll see it says place in slot one or place in slot two, and it will give you two different buttons to press. If you press the left hand click or left click, it will put it on the top. If you push, push the right click, it will put it on the bottom. So be careful when doing this and bear in mind, you will only be able to change one. Now, also, you can level up the item, and that's simple. Again, I can max this out at level uh, 23. So if you level it up, just uses uh, titanium. So say, for example, 32 to level up this item. We're going to do that, and then we can level up as many times as we want. So let's get it to the max level we can. It's now at 2,000 firepower, and you can see the stats have gone up on this as well. Now, let's go into the actual kind of armor. So we're going to look at some epic armor, so the epic helmet that we've got again with epic gear you cannot improve rarity you can't make epic legendary you can go all the way up to epic by improving gear but no further again there is no variance on these epic items epic weapons will have a variant gear or armor does not have variance so again it's the same thing you can raise the attributes you can also put a mod on, again, in slot one or slot two, depending on what you have. Of course, just try and fill this as much as you can for end game. That's what I would really say for you guys to do. And of course, you can level it up. If it's level 21, you can level it all the way up. Now, say, for example, you've got something that's really low level, like the Thunderbird that we got during the demo. You can level it up the whole way. You, you can keep going and leveling up. It is going to cost you a fortune in titanium so sometimes you're better off maybe just buying or uh, sorry just waiting to drop it again level it up early days if you want to but i personally would save these uh titaniums and basically use them when you're near end game just to get those guns leveled up a little bit more
So guys, I hope this video has helped you out in the crafting tutorial. As I say, make sure to just stock up on the mod, stock up on shards, titanium, enjoy the game, collect everything you can, dismantle everything you can as well to get those materials, and always harvest everything that you see. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all in the next video.